So guys, I am back home from the game against West Ham. Luton have lost 2-1 at home against the Hammers. And yeah, we've lost our first home Premier League game of the season. Our first one, in fact. I'm a little bit disappointed. I am annoyed with certain players' like performances. I'm annoyed with the officials. And in this video, I'm going to obviously talk a little bit further about those. First off, well, actually, let's talk about the starting 11. So the starting 11, I was shocked to see Elijah and Morris starting. I thought Brown deserved an opportunity to start. But then saying that, I thought Elijah was a much better version of himself. And I kind of wanted a bit more from Morris from this game. But I'll talk about that a little bit later on. But yeah, Elijah and Morris up top. Midfield, Barkley and Chong. And then the defence, obviously, no, Tom Lockyer. If Tom Lockyer got injured against Gillingham, I'm going to be absolutely fuming because he should have never have played. He should have just been rested. There was no need to play him against the League Two side. We had the depth. We had the depth and quality. We should have just started him from the bench. So I'll be very angry if he did get injured because he did get taken off at half time against them. So I'll be absolutely fuming if he if he's got injured against Julian because he should have never have started, in my opinion. There was no need to. You could have just literally gave him a rest like we did with Morris. So, those are my thoughts on that, but we get into the actual defence in a second. And then, obviously, Alfie starting instead of Kapore. I felt Alfie deserved an opportunity to start, but I, don't, I didn't think Kapore deserved to be dropped. I felt Ryan Giles deserved to be dropped. And I will be going into Ryan Giles in this video because I am absolutely getting frustrated with him um, so far. Yeah, okay, Lewis, look, I get it, you know. It's maybe he's not setting in into the team as quickly as I would have liked to, but I'm not happy with certain things and I'm not happy with basic stuff from him. Um, and yeah, we'll get onto that in a, in a second. But yeah, I'm shocked to see Kapore on the bench. I really am. I felt he should have started with Alfie in the team. And then obviously you had Mans Anderson, Amari Bell, and also Reese Burke, and then Thomas Kaminsky came back into the side um, following the Ginium game. So the first half, I felt it was pretty even, you know. I felt the game in itself was pretty even. I felt Luton deserved something from the game. Don't get me wrong, West Ham showed good quality in certain areas, but we did cause them problems. But we didn't cause the goalkeeper problems. We really lacked a cutting edge in front of goal. Now, don't get me wrong, the direct stuff, the physical side of things, it did work in the Championship, and it will work in moments in the Premier League. Don't get me wrong, it will work. But it won't work if you keep doing it. Change it up a little bit. It was just constant hoofball, hoofball, hoofball. It's not pretty to watch. And I don't mind not watching pretty stuff. Don't get me wrong. I don't mind that. But what I get annoyed, if, uh, annoyed is if we keep hoofing it and nothing's coming away from it, then something's not right. And what we didn't do today was we didn't win our second balls and we didn't win our third balls. Now, that's got nothing to do with quality at all. That's got to do with hard work. Now, I don't think we've got the perfect balance within the starting eleven, and I'm not expecting Rob Evers to figure that out in the first opening three games of the Premier League season. We need to sort that balance out quickly, though, because the balance just isn't right. Can we play Barkley and Chong in the midfield? I don't think you can. I think you either play you you play one or that's it. You, like you can't play both. I don't. I don't think they work. Chong's very creative. He needs to be on the ball. He needs to be driving at players. He isn't a player that wants to be battling in against another midfielder um, in the air. He doesn't want to do that. That's not his type of game. And I, I completely understand that. The same with Ross Barkley. I don't think his style of game is that. So if we're playing that type of system, we need need to be playing midfielders that actually want to battle in the midfield. That then says, why did we let Alan Campbell go? Because he's that perfect player who's going to battle. So, a few question marks there. But I understand why Chong and Barkley play. Because they have the quality. That their passing is good. And they can do things which I don't think our other midfielders can. Like Berry and Pelly. But then again, I'm not seeing a bit of battle in there from those two players. But I thought Chong was better than Barkley. I feel like a lot of people are slagging Chong's work rate. I do think he's chasing. He's... It's not his style of play. He's, he's not that type of player. His strengths are going forward, not defensively. So I understand why fans are getting frustrated, but I feel like you're getting frustrated at the wrong player. Barkley's the one you should be getting frustrated with. He's the one with the Premier League experience, and I don't think he's fit. He looks well out of shape. He's nowhere near the, near the pace. don't think he's working hard enough, in my opinion. And yeah, he needs to step up quickly because fans will turn on him if he continues um, poor performances. But yeah, first half performance... 
as I was saying, you know, I thought it was quite even and, and I felt we deserved to be going in at the break level. I didn't think Thomas Kaminsky had too much to do, if I'm being honest. I didn't think he had anything really to do. But then when he did have a moment to do something, he kind of flapped at it. Now, it was poor from him, the goal. the first, He should have done a lot better. It was pretty much straight at him. But I'm more annoyed with Ryan Giles. And the reason why I'm annoyed with him is he's allowed Bowen to run in behind and, ha and to have a free header. That is just not good enough. It really isn't good enough. Amari Bell was marking Antonio. We know how that was going to go. So even if Amari Bell was marking Antonio and the ball actually fell to Antonio, I think Antonio scores because he outmuscled Amari Bell throughout the whole game. But then that wasn't the problem though. It was Giles. Giles was not marking Bowen. Bowen got in behind and I don't know why he got in behind because Giles has not, didn't do anything going forward. So ball watching, probably, yeah. And I'm not being funny with you. The first four games so far in this season, Giles has not done enough. He's just not done enough. Every game in the Premier League, every goal, and what, at least one goal has come down that side. You know, where Giles has been involved in it in somehow. It's not good enough. It really isn't. And he should not be playing in the next game. He should, he should be dropped, in my personal opinion. He's not hit the ground running. And we can't afford passengers. You just can't. The Premier League is ruthless. You're going to get problems. The problems are going to happen. You, he shouldn't be starting. That's my overall opinion. I don't. I couldn't care less if he can cross the ball into the box. I don't care. If you can't do the basics of defending, then I don't care what you do going forward. And even if when he does go forward and we're crossing balls into the box, throughout the game today, there was no one on the end of them. So it makes no difference. So you might as well play Alfie, who I thought had a much better game, unfortunately did come off injured, and play Kapora, who I think can cause a lot of teams problems with his pace and power. But that's just my opinion. I just don't think he's hit the ground running whatsoever. So we go in at the break, 1-0 down. Second half comes in. West Ham do get a, an early goal, but then it was called off for offside. That was the correct decision. Well done, officials, for keeping an eye on that. But I won't applaud you for what you did at the end. I thought the referee was a little bit weird today. There were certain things where West Ham were fouling us quite frequently. Referee weren't giving out cards. But if it was the first week of the Premier League season, they would have gave out about eight of them by then. So I found that quite weird. Um, the camera got fouled quite a few times, got hurt a few times, but managed to get pull through in the end. Second half, we obviously tried to grow into the game, tried to push forward. We made our subs, made attacking subs to try and go for it a little bit more because you're 1-0 down at half time. And then when Woodrow came on, we conceded a stupid goal from a set piece. Why do we do it to ourselves? Why do we shoot, shoot ourselves in the foot and go like, oh, yeah, that's it, 2-0, game over. Because we were pushing, it was the wrong time to con like to concede a goal at that point. Because we were pushing, and those last ten minutes, five minutes, w whatever it was left, we would have pushed, and we would have, you know, would have been a lot more. We would have caused West Ham so many more problems. But yeah, I'm slightly annoyed that we conceded at that point. And then obviously we did push on forward. Mans Anderson did get the goal. Another ball got like hoofed in. This time it worked. I think Morris won the won the flick on, and then Man Man Anderson scored. And then we get to right to the death of the game in the 94th minute. A ball goes in from a corner. War Prowse hands balls the ball in the box like handball. Clear as day. I understand the referee not seeing it because he only gets one opportunity at doing it. But what are the people doing in VAR? What, what, what is the point of having this system in place for people who are paid to do a service to sit in front of camera angles after camera angles and get multiple opportunities at watching something? How are you missing it? How? Just how? Now, you may be thinking, Lewis, oh, look, it, it may have been given us a penalty. There's no guarantee Morris scores. And even if he does, it's only a point at home to West Ham. I don't care if it's only a point. A point could save our season. A point could keep us up. A point helps us right now to push on and, and grind out through other games. It gives us that bit of momentum. We may not deserved it, but it should have been a penalty. I don't understand how the officials are not seeing it. How are you not seeing basic stuff when you've been given multiple angles, multiple replays? How? It's handball. It's clear and obvious. It's pathetic. It's absolutely pathetic. And I've had enough. Like, VAR is a fantastic, you know, serve, well, well, system in place, which, you know, could help the game in so many, many factors. 
but we've got idiots who can't use it and they are the officials. The FA come out and go like, we need to give more respect to our referees and our officials. Why? You know why they don't get it? Because they make stupid decisions. They're incapable of making these good decisions. I understand it's a, you know, it's the hardest job being a referee in football. I wouldn't want to be one. I get that. But come on. Like, you get multiple angles. You get multiple replays. I would love to be in one of those rooms one day and, and, and do a refereeing game and just go through it all. And just see how, if it is actually as hard as when it makes out. Do I miss key decisions like what they do on a week by week basis? Because I just don't think we've got enough people. The FA really need to look at actually improving the officials. It's a joke. Now, I may be overreacting, but I just don't think this is good enough. You know, it affects us massively. It really does. And I'm more angry because I've actually come back home and I've seen like screenshots of it. I didn't, I didn't know that at the time. When I was like watching it from the stand, at first glance, I didn't spot the handball. That's why I'm not having to go at the on-field referee. I'm having to go at those idiots that sit in a room and get paid a service and don't do it. That's what I'm more annoyed with. But yeah, those are my thoughts. I'm, yeah. We've got a lot of learning to do. Um, we lack cutting edge. I want to see more from Morris. Demand more from Morris. I'm not seeing it. We need to test keepers more. Last three games in the Premier League, we've not really tested our keepers. We need to... We need to do more. One shot on target today is not good enough at home. It really isn't. We need to be doing a lot better there. Two new signings have come through the door. So I'll talk about those in another video. But yeah, um, two weeks now to hit the ground running and get better. Really need to get better. But then I just remembered Tom Lockyer, when I've said about him being potentially injured, he's just been called up for Wales. So he obviously his injury can't be that bad if he got called up to Wales. So yeah. Those are my thoughts, guys. I'm just, yeah, all over the place. Still a bit frustrated after seeing the screenshots from the game. But, yeah, it is what it is, I guess. Hopefully you enjoyed my reaction. See you all in the next video.